you studied chemistry you invested your time your parents invested money now the question is how should you get jobs faster in the chemistry industry and that is why i am here as a catalyst now at rasayanika we firmly believe that if you want to grow in any industry you need to have five ingredients in place the first would be what's your passion if your passion is any subject like when you are studying some subject like organic chemistry medicinal chemistry analytical chemistry inorganic physical whatever you like or a sub topic of that so that's your passion okay now how do you judge your passion is something which you really love you are like really passionate you can work for that subject without money okay and you can talk about it even somebody wakes you up at 2 o'clock at night and asks what it is and you can talk so that's your passion okay so first you have to combine that passion into profession okay so number one is passion now the second is will this particular subject grow in the future so if it is not going to grow why should i invest even though i'm i love this subject there must be something which i love less, little less but yeah still i love so you have to find out if that passion passionate subject is going to grow in the future the third is currently is it growing or not okay maybe in future it will grow right now it's not growing what's the point so that's the third the fourth is how much money it will make for me okay and the fifth is how big is the market size okay so these are the five things you have to analyze before you jump in the market so let me give you an example so we have this uh, hydrocarbon market the petroleum products market so petroleum products so that's organic chemistry you are passionate about organic chemistry so you get into this right now the problem is uh, this industry is growing yes the second will it keep growing in the future answer is no because the hydrocarbons will be obsolete and people will switch to battery power or solar power right it's not a renewable resource so it's little not grow but of course for the next 100 years it will grow and i'm going to live to for 100 years so yes right now it's a right, right decision so this is how you analyze right the right analysis using the right parameters leads to the right results problem with all of us is we don't have this open conversations and in the absence of open conversations we uh, stay confused right so i hope this video helps you make things crystal clear but i know you might have more questions because each time we come up with a solution more questions arise so go ahead put that down in the comment section and i'll try to answer all of them in my next videos all the best